What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a beautiful deck that was introduced to the Carter Sea World this past year. That's right. The newest release by Luke Wadey, other than the successful Kickstarter he just launched just about a month ago. That's right. We're going to be looking into the G. S2 is the Grid Series 2 deck by Luke Wadey. So buckle in your seatbelts, because we're going there. Let's go. I can't hit the button. The Grid Series 2 playing cards of the three-part series was launched on Kickstarter back on February 1st of 2018. It was funded after an amazing 357 backers pledged a 7,860 pounds of an original 5,600 pound goal. Just like the previous version that I reviewed, the grid playing cards are a part of a three-part collection based on the design principles or international typographic style, other known as the Swiss style of graphic design. The Series 2s have been reworked from the original launch because he wanted to refine the design and bring the whole deck a little closer to the original concept set out by the GS ones. The front of the tuck case is this very nice, bright, elegant blue color that you see that surrounds the entire body of the tuck box. Also, which will be carried on throughout the back design of the deck as well, which we'll see here in a little bit. The only thing on the front is grid in big, bold letters on the bottom portion. Both the left and right sides of the tuck are the exact same. They say Series 2 typographic playing cards designed by Luke Wadey and Grid on the right. The bottom features a little bit of ad copy. The top of the tuck flaps has Luke's logo on the left side, the top of the seal in the middle in this nice white or off gray color and then it says series 2 poker size on the right the back of the tuck case the upper spot says grid on the last bottom part of the tuck sticker and then on the lower half of the deck it says luke's logo series 2 typographic playing cards designed by luke wadey all right, this deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company. There were only less than 2,000 of these in print. That's right. These do come on their retail stock, and they do have a magic finish or an air cushion embossed. The back design is pretty similar to the GS1s in the sense that it is a plain colorway on the back this time in blue other than the darker gray that we've seen on the first version. It's going to say grid at the bottom in the same text font that we've seen on the tuck box and then on the upper right hand corner it is going to say series 2. Alright, so with this deck you're going to receive four extra cards. If you're familiar with Luke's work or even the GS1s, they had also three Jokers. This time around he decided to make them all three exactly the same. That's right, you have these purple backed cards. They say Joker in the bottom right portion of the card and it has a very faint circle line in the middle. And then the other card you're going to receive is pretty much a ad card. It says Grid on there, Luke Wadey Design, and his social medias, which I will also link on the bottom of the description of the video. Alright, so as always, this is a 100% custom deck design by Luke Wadey. It is pretty close to the original design on the GS1s. Um, definitely a little different as far as the fonts are concerned and a lot of other little things like the circle behind everything. Um, and he definitely cleaned up a lot more of the design as well. Not that it needed cleaned up, but change is always good and not a bad thing all the time. So yeah, I really enjoy it and it makes this deck definitely 
one of a kind. The colorway and name of the deck is not the only changes that we're seeing within this deck. Luke wanted to be very efficient and make some other intricate changes that we will see here. There are six main differences on the faces of both the courts and number cards. The first is the card is written in its full name like we see where it says seven of diamonds in white. The second is the traditional use in the corners with the seven and a diamond pip like we're known for seeing in almost every deck nowadays. The third is written with the upper and lower case next to it where it says seven forward slash diamonds. The fourth is around the large circle. There is a current sequence of cards before and after. So where this is the seven, you will see a six that comes before and the eight that comes after. The fifth one is the shorthand code in the upper right corner where it says SE forward slash DI. And then the last but not least is in the lower left corner, similar to the GS1s, the current card is shown by the pip and lit up dots, with ones that don't apply being faded. Just like I stated earlier, this is a 100% customized deck. There will be no kind of standard pips or indices here. Oh no, there won't be. Um, he still chose like the previous version, and I'm sure the last version on Kickstarter um, will be that red are reds, blacks are black, so the clubs and spades will be all black faces, as well as the hearts and diamonds will be all red faces, as you've seen previously on the number cards. The courts are no stranger to the same typographic design. All right, so the aces follow suit literally in this sense because they all are the same. The blacks are blacks, reds are reds. Like I said earlier, it says the aces on there are not one as prominent than the other like previously and this deck is just all around awesome all right so what do i give this deck um i give it a five out of five uh, hands down all hands on deck i mean this is a excellent deck of cards um i'm slowly learning to change the way that i approach cards right this deck, and I've told this to Luke recently, this deck opened my eyes to a lot of different things, right? Usually, I buy a deck because of certain reasons. The color, the stock, the designer, things like that, right? So much so that if this was a typical deck, right? And Luke wasn't my friend or whatever the case, I, the odds of me buying this deck or owning it without somebody giving it to me, probably close to none. But this deck, when I hold a deck of cards, I want to be able, like the Innocence deck, for instance. It's one of my favorite decks. There are other decks as well that tell a story, right? When I hold this deck in my hands, for instance, I can feel Luke's passion. I can feel the you know the blood sweat and tears so to speak that he put into designing this deck that's what i appreciate about this deck of cards when i hold a deck in my hands i want to be able to feel that story or feel that hard work that drive that passion that whatever i don't want to pick up a deck of cards or buy a deck of cards just because somebody tells me to or you know somebody says it's cool or just because it looks cool and then you know so many times you get it and you're just let down that just happened recently with another deck I bought um, but I'll be reviewing that soon so what am I saying I'm saying this deck here as well as the GS ones and the new GS threes which like I said were just successfully funded on Kickstarter good job Luke um, this is a good deck um and the best part is i mean it, you can see it every bit of it it's literally perfection inside and out doesn't matter you can see those small intricate details the nods to different things and i can really get behind it so even though like i said two-way de uh, back designs are my preference this is also a preference now and 
I appreciate Luke for allowing this deck to do that. So, yeah. So, as always, I want to thank Luke for sending this deck out to allow me to do the review for you. I will link this deck below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Get yourself a couple or even a couple bricks. Doesn't matter. You believe me, you will not regret it either way. So, and you can also find these at your local or your favorite retailer for Murphy's Magic. That's right. And as well as a lot of other magic shops, 52 cards. I'll link them all below. Like I said, it doesn't even matter. And as always, if you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoy doing it for you, consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you beautiful people on the next one.